hello friends hope you all are doing well so uh, this is the next video in the high yield traction theory series so in this video i will again explain some of the concept of traction so if you have not watched previous video go that and first watch all those video this is uh, me so in previous video i told a uh, uh, typo mistake was there i told i did my grade in 2013 but it was in 2012 so uh, this has been rectified over here okay so moving forward uh, till now we have uh, seen about tires so my first video was uh, the introduction of tire uh, the beginning from a steel tire then to the pneumatic tire then we have seen uh, types of tire on the basis of thread pattern then we have seen bias flight tire radial tire we have seen the difference between all these two then we have seen uh, how what is the internal construction of tire aspect ratio section wheel section height uh, overall diameter deflection etc then we have seen uh, tire designation then we have seen uh, how to calculate overall diameter of tire we have seen some examples and then finally we have solved some uh, great question okay so this was the tire lecture if you have not watched then please go there and watch uh, lecture 1.2 and 1.1 and 1.2 okay then we have seen uh, introduction of traction what is traction and uh, some basic concept of traction then what is the impact of tire footprint over the traction then uh, we have seen uh, how to measure the traction then again we have seen the impact of inflation pressure on tire footprint area as well as on traction then we have seen uh, what is the difference between cohesive soil or frictional soil as well as we have solved some great numerical so this was my traction lecture uh, traction lecture uh, till now okay so basically i told you that traction is ac plus w105 okay so uh, is the tire footprint area and c is soil cohesion so what is soil cohesion so basically soil cohesion is an intermolecular force of attraction okay so what intermolecular there are two kind of intermolecular force one is uh, your uh, adhesive force and second one is your cohesive force okay so the force of adhesion or adhesive force is basically the intermolecular force of attraction between two different types of molecule whereas cohesion is the intermolecular force of attraction between two same type of molecule you might have seen a uh, fevicol box or fevicol add so fevicol is known as adhesive so why it is called adhesive because it binds two different surfaces so as i told you adhesion is the intermolecular force of attraction between two different surfaces but here we are talking about cohesion force so here cohesion means the intermolecular force of attraction between two same type of soil particle okay so uh, you might be knowing that clay soil is being used to make uh, mud houses and uh, clay house clay soil is also used to make bricks okay so why we are using clay soil for making bricks and why we are using clay soil for making mud houses because it will have high binding capacity uh, because it will have high cohesion force high intermolecular force of attraction okay so clay uh, clay uh, soil size will will be very less so there will be less void ratio and high intermolecular force of attraction whereas this for sandy soil uh, you will have high soil particle size and less intermolecular force of attraction so in case of clay soil this tire footprint area will be of prime importance whereas in case of uh, sandy soil your weight coming on your tractor or the weight of tractor will be of prime importance so if you are taking your tractor in rajasthan area then this weight will be important if you are taking your tractor in mud or field or in uh, maharashtra black cotton soil which is a clay soil then your tire footprint area will be of prime importance so at that time you have to either deflate your tire or you, you should use track for better traction okay so this is all about uh, basic traction theory now we will move ahead and we will see some of the extra concepts which are uh, which will be useful then i will explain the advanced concept of traction so one of the first concept is uh, the cone index cone index is basically the measurement of soil hardness if cone index is less it means soil is soft if cone index is high it means soil is hard okay so basically cone index is the force uh, force required to push a cone into the ground and it is a function of depth okay so this is uh, this is the uh, instrument called cone penetrometer it, it this figure i have taken from as ae standard now it is as abe standard which is uh, american society of agricultural and biological engineers so they have published this standard so this is a standard cone one is 129 mm square cone area second is 323 mm square cone area 
okay so you have to push this uh, this cone into the soil with a particular rate at a particular rate that rate is uh, 3 cm per second so with 3 cm per second velocity you have to push this cone into the soil you have to apply force over here and this cone will get into the uh, penetrate into the soil so initially you have to set this dial gauge this is the dial gauge by which you are measuring how much amount of force you are applying over here okay so initially you have to set this dial gauge at zero and once you uh, uh, apply force over here and this cone will uh, get into a certain depth then you have to measure uh, how much uh, you have applied force with the help of this dial gauge okay so this force divided by area of this cone if you are using this cone then this area if you are using this cone then this area so that will give you cone index so basically you all know that force per unit area is pressure so basically cone index is a pressure we measure it in kilo pascal or newton per mm square okay but uh, for manual cone penetrometer you have to take lot of iterations because you have to ensure 3 cm per second is a difficult task and for that you have to take for a lot of iterations so to avoid those iterations and to get uh, perfection in measurement of uh, cone index uh, we should now uh, using hydraulic operated cone index so so uh, no longer you need to manually push it into the soil okay but uh, still lot of at lot of places uh, we are using this manual cone penetrometer so this is the cone index okay now the second concept is uh, the mobility number okay this is also a, an important concept if mobility number is high it means your tr tractor or your tire will be able to move forward easily and if it is less then it means that resistance is very high and it's difficult to move your tire so basically it is a dimensionless number mobility number bn is a dimensionless number okay so this is the formula of bn so this ci is uh, is bn is a dimensionless ratio which is given by brixius brixius is a scientist who has Uh, given a method to measurement how to measure a major traction theoretically so he has for that uh, he has given this concept of b n mobility number when ci is your cone index in kilo pascal b is your section width d is your overall tire diameter these two already i have explained to you in detail uh, w is dynamic wheel reaction so basically it is a normal force coming on the soil uh, on the tire okay when delta is tire deflection h is a section height this also i have already explained to you in tire lecture Please go there and watch it again if you are not clear about these parameters. Okay, so now we can divide this B N into three category. Okay, uh, so it is basically the company combination of three dimensionless ratio. So these are the three ratio. First one we can call it wheel numeric C N, which will be equal to C I B D by W. Okay, then second is deflection ratio delta by H, and third is width to diameter ratio B by D. Okay, so uh, this so basically this mobility number is a combination of wheel parameters or tire parameters then uh, deflection ratio which is uh, again the uh, function of soil as well as tire and then width to diameter ratio which is again the tire and this wheel numeric ci is function of tire as well as load coming on the tire as well as uh, this cone index which is the soil parameter okay so basically it is a dimensionless number used to predict the combined effect of soil as well as wheel parameters because if you see the traction equation it is it is not a single thing it is a combination of soil as well as wheel parameter so this bn will give you combined effect of this soil and wheel parameter so what is what is the significance of mobility mobility number so if as, as i told you that if this number increases then tractive performance of tire improves okay so again you will see it when i will explain uh, the concept of rolling resistance okay so moving ahead as of now so uh, there are actually till now we have seen what is traction but now the question comes how to measure it so basically there are five dimensionless parameters which are used to describe tractive performance suppose you have two tractors then how will you say that which tractor is better or which tractor is giving you better performance so how to uh, how to describe it uh, in terms of performance so there are five parameters on the basis of which you can tell that which tractor is giving you better tractive performance okay so first parameter is your travel reduction ratio which we called as slip which is which we express in percentage okay now second is motion resistance ratio also known as rolling resistance ratio um, in short we can write it mrr or simply rr now the third one is net traction ratio 
also called as pull by weight ratio also called as coefficient of traction and also sometimes denoted by mu you might have seen it somewhere in your textbooks okay now the next one is gross traction ratio gtr which we uh, which will be uh, uh, expressed in symbolic term mu suffix g okay so that is your gtr gross traction ratio and the final one is tractive efficiency which is uh, which is usually expressed in percentage but actually it is a ratio so these are five parameters on the basis of which we can tell that we can compare the tractive performance of two tractors and we can say which one is better or which one is not better we will see all these uh, five parameters one by one in extremely detail and these all are very uh, important concept but to understand all this concept you have to watch these videos sincerely okay so you will first see the first parameters which is uh, travel reduction ratio trr or uh, which is also known as slip okay so you all know what slip is this is basically the difference between uh, percentage difference between actual speed as, and the theoretical speed okay so your actual speed will always be less than theoretical speed so if your theoretical speed is suppose uh, 10 kmph and if your slip is uh, 15 km 15 percent then you just calculate how much will be your actual speed okay just write in the comment section how how you are calculating this okay so we are expressing it in percentage so basically it is the difference between actual speed and theoretical speed this is a formula so it is uh, v naught minus v by v naught if you want to express in percentage and multiply this ratio by 100 okay so uh, basically it is uh, the scenario where your tire is moving your tire is moving but your vehicle is not moving forward so your tire is rotating but tractor is not moving forward so basically it is a waste of engine power and research says that about 20 to 55 percent of energy of drive wheel is being wasted in soil tire interaction or slippage of tire and where this energy goes so it will be uh, it will cause soil compaction so it is it is of prime importance to reduce the slip but to make slip zero is also not advisable because some amount of slip is required to get uh, drawer pull those things i will explain to you so uh, here you know that some amount of slip is required but very high amount of slip is not required but because uh, that will be the waste of energy then question comes that uh, how to reduce your slip so there are two ways one is to increase the weight of tractor by, by blasting on the front as well as on the rear and second is increase the contact area between tire and soil now how to increase the contact area to by increasing tire footprint and now how to increase tire footprint that I have, al that I have already explained to you in previous video uh, by uh, by either deflating the tire or by using higher size of tire okay so uh, this is all about slip now uh, there are other four parameters which we will see in detail in next video so thank you guys for watching this uh, video patiently so uh, again i am saying you that uh, these videos are conceptual uh, very conceptual and detailed video and please do watch all these video continuously like start from the first video and then comes to come to the last video don't jump in jump in between and uh, don't uh, just try to see the last video okay so again thank you and please like this video and subscribe this channel and spread the word to uh, this word that uh, uh, there is a channel which is uh, uploading video for benefit of all agriculture engineers and all you guys okay thank you very much